Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at Enforce Tech in Nuremberg, day one at my favorite booth to visit when I'm in Germany. HK with one of my favorite dudes to visit. Look at this good looking man here, Hans. Hey, Always good to have you on the program. And nice to see you. What a way to start the show out. The SFP9CC, your first one and a half stack concealed carry pistol. Very exciting. What can you tell me about it? Yeah, it's a, a long way for us because we have some subcompact pistols, uh, but this is the new small version concealed carry we have on market. It took a long time for going this way, but uh, I think we have a perfect product on market. And this is one you see in the case here. You've done subcompact double stacks, the P2000 subcompact, the SK. Yep. Uh, this is the first time that you've really done something where you're getting 10 rounds of capacity into a gun that's about an inch thick, right? Yeah, it, that was the, the concept or the, the idea behind. So we are well known, we do some of the SK variants, but for concealed carry, it was a little bit too, too width. In this case, we have a complete new concept. We take the measurements, what the customer wants, what the customer needs in this uh, small gun. So same safety features, uh, functionality and so on. Same concept in a very small pistol. And I see a lot of design cues shared with the VP9. That's what I like about this. It even has the little cocking wings in the yeah. back. You've got the, uh, the striker indicator, like the, the cocked striker indicator there in the back, it looks a lot like the VP9. And I think if you already carry the VP9, if you're a VP9 person, you're going to, to look at this as an attractive option for concealed carry. Yeah. That is the complete uh, idea behind this uh, new pistol because we want to transfer the VP9 or SFP9 user directly to the CC without any barricades of handling or anything like this. Um, same way for disassemble the pistol, for example. We have a very high standard for secure disassemble the pistol at the VP9 and the SFP9. Um, in this case, we transformed it, so when you want to disassemble the pistol, you have to uh, put the magazine out of the weapon, bring the slide in back position, um, and then you can uh, rotate the dis dis disassemble lever, and it's the way we have done it with a full size, and it's the complete way we have done it with a small size. So, same safety features in the small pistol, and also grip, ang grip angle, also the trigger. To be honest, it's not complete the same trigger because of the measurements, but it's very, very nearby for the full-size models. If you have a VP9, you can just pick this up and run with it. Virtually the same manual of arms, very similar, just smaller. Yeah, no problem. You can shoot the full-size and you can shoot the CC side by side. You pick one or the other. You're going for shooting, you have no problems with the angle for handling the weapon. You know how you release the magazine, how you operate the slide catch, how you cock the weapon and so on. Shooting also the sights, a little bit smaller, but from the same uh, idea behind. We have uh, the three dot for this model shown is with a black rear sight, but uh, anyone who can handle the full size or the SK can handle this pistol without any uh, time for learning or anything. And if I remember correctly, you guys are going to be releasing this in a, a railed version or a regular plain dust cover version, right? Yeah, uh, to be honest, it's not a version uh, you have to choose the one or the other. The thing is, um, we have designed the pistol so that you can put out the trigger mechanism. Nothing new, but it's new for us, so you can change um, the grip. You can go with a flat one or you can go with a Picatinny rail, it's not a problem. Also on the grip we have uh, the opportunity for change, small, medium and large, with and without beaver tail. Um, to be honest, on our full size version we have a lot of more um, ergonomic um, interchangeable parts. You can change uh, the side panels in the CC variant, we only can change the, the back straps. I see. And Again, I want to underscore the fact that this is your first modular compact pistol. I mean, that's the amazing thing. You can take that fire control unit out, 
put it into a different grip, but you're also going to be offering this in optic ready and standard iron sight models, right? Also, also in push button and pedal. We have uh, the variant with a standard slide and also with the optic ready, uh, optic ready cut. Um, it's a smaller cut and we are need for looking for the right small red dots, but the market, uh, there are some place of the red dots and it's possible for mounting the system. Yeah, no problem. I see. RMRCC, like the yeah. Trigicon RMRCC. Yeah. yeah. Holosun, 407, 507 footprint, Yeah, when, you sh when they uh, share the footprint, not, uh, not a problem. Right, right, yeah. exactly. I understand that this has been three years of designing, testing, a lot of time and work has already gone into this, correct? I'm not knowing uh, exactly how long does, uh, it does take, but uh, yeah, we are well known for um, doing a nice engineering job and the guys who developed this pistol have a, a lot of work put in it and it takes a lot of time for us also for testing because when we are going with a, a weapon system on market we want to be sure that's the best way it could be for the customer so that's the point why we are sometimes need a little bit longer because we do it 100% uh, right. And you were ready to unveil this at Enforce Tech, but you're not ready to bring it to the market just yet. It's still going to be some time, huh? So it's the first time that we show them. Um, uh, the, the thing is, we have gone a long way, but we are not finished at the moment. We're really so teasing them. For, for the, the whole customers, so. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I guess let me end this by asking you a personal question, Hans. Button? Or paddle, which paddle, is better? Pedal. You knew he was going to say or that. German guy, pedal. Why? Why? Because uh, I'm well trained on the pedal version, and we have some models uh, also with pedal, so we are trained with pedal. And you're also well trained at appearing on camera. You've done a great job. Seriously, Hans, I, I really appreciate you being. It's so hard to get people. You come to Iwa, you come to Enforce Tech. It's a, a German thing, I guess. It's really hard to get people on camera, so I'm super, super appreciative of the fact that you would take time to talk to us, to talk to our American viewers out there and our international James, viewers. James, to be honest, only for you. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from Enforce Tech and IWA.